Hi, 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 hi. This is the high five from why. And today I am just coming to talk about the well-being that we must seek, the well-being that comes from us seeking uh, ways to make ourselves feel better and strategies to help each other. That's what I really want to talk about, strategies to help each other. So what what things do we bring to the table when we are um, helping others? I like to think that, first of all, because I have learned over the years how important it is to listen, how important it is to watch, how important it is to speak positive energy out uh, when you're speaking to others that are hurting or they're just seeking well-being. When you look at all of the persons over the uh, country and over the nations who know that there's an importance in well-being, you have to look at how what your what's your place, what's your uh, posture, and what's your position in helping someone get to the point of well-being. People search for ways to be uh, feeling better ways to have well-being as one of their top, uh, I guess, attributes. And so I just thought about today, for me, it was all about listening and actually actively seeking out how I could help people. If how it would, uh, how, how one number might make a difference in their well-being. So I wanted to take this, this video just to talk about five attributes that I feel are very necessary in well-being. And we talked about the fact that we have to always be looking at how we can save and share services. Save and share services. And with that goes, how, how does that help someone else? We've got to be able to give help to somebody else uh, when we say that we are, that's our purpose, and that we feel like that's what God has given us in our purpose. So I'm just really feeling very comfortable with seeking service and how I can, I can really play a part in what people need in order to make, find their well-being in order to look at um, how tomorrow, how tomorrow, how tomorrow might be affected by the things that have happened on this day. So even as today I said, okay, what would I, if I was talking about something, what would I say that might make someone pay attention to the, their own self well-being and their own self-care? And well-being uh, and seeking well-being and receiving well-being is most certainly a part of self-care. So self-care in grief uh, is very uh, independent, and it means that someone is looking at how they're feeling and what they can get in order to feel better. I think that we have to realize that prayer watching is if that's something that you do, meditating, look for that thing that has made you feel better. Look for that thing that perhaps uh, as you think about seeing others and how they are making a difference, how that affects what you are feeling about yourself. Grief, uh, we've talked about it so many times in this, on this channel that grief is, is a community and there, we are all advocates for well-being for each other. And so those are the things that we continue to run towards making life better for someone else. Uh, saving and sharing services is where we find our best way to be a part of a well-being community. And that's what we want to be. We want to be a well-being community 
uh, and to know that wellness is such a, an important part. So I'm going to come with that to you today, that today's save and sharing service is going to be our well-being strategy for the day. I think that you will see some of these answers in uh, the book, Redeeming Grace, Look How Far God Has Brought Us, and the difference of how people perceive their well-being. So have a wonderful day, and we will return just to discuss how we are a part of the well-being community dealing with grief. <music>